All right, in the next room, we have a red tail hawk who has been not showing any sign of diarrhea that I can see, but according to the stool, it is a little bit off as far as the urates and solids go, um, and not very well formed. Here is a direct wet melt of the poop itself, and all those blonde little uh, spots you see in there are all area. Um, anyway, so we're going to show some closer, but that's uh, it's a pretty pretty bad case of malaria. Anyway, um, <laughs> what are you guys doing in the background? Making your video terrible. Oh, yes. I have, we're used to it. Um, <laughs> she scared me. Oh. I came up behind her. I put mail down, and she said I scared her. And then she was like, you got to make more noise. She was like, got to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're closer there. Anyway, let me get some closer shots. Goodbye. Alright, and in this field here, you can actually see one right center center stage. Also one at about uh, 8 o'clock, and it's somewhere in the center. Anyway, there's a kennel area, and we're going to get some closer shots. And this is, I believe, 40 times magnification. Hold on. Okay, the first one was actually 40. The second uh, second take was uh, was about 100, and this is 400 times magnification. You can actually see there if you look at the uh, the top part. There's part of an operculum, kind of like a not, not quite a nipple, but anyway, you can see where it forms at that end, and that is kind of cool. You are phasing in and out at 400 times magnification. I can see through you. All right, let's get this bird trail out. What's up? Hey. <laughs> All right, that's we're ready to go. I'll look inside this mouth. Right, it is Thursday morning. It is day after Christmas, and today we got this beautiful red tail hawk in. Um, anyway, uh, it says on the record she's called Lady Hawk. I like that. That's actually one of my favorite movies as a kid, by the way. Um, Rucker Howard was awesome. Anyway, oh, and it had Michelle Pfeiffer in it too. Oh, hotness. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, Michelle, are you in there anywhere? <laughs> I'll catch up with this later, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, uh, we did uh, get some fecal samples. Dad brought me a nice fresh sample, and we got an even fresher sample down there on the floor. And so, uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait, there's people still out here. All right, just because I've never seen somebody put a mask on here before, i got to get that on film. All right. Good. <laughs> Good, sorry. Good. Um, anyway, so, uh, we're going to start her on some more dewormer. She's had this parasite last time, but I only saw like one on the whole sample. And that sample, you know, we ended up treating her for it. She did a whole lot better. And then all of a sudden she's now gotten worse to the point where she's actually regurgitating. And that is just not cool. So, uh, on the samples are showing that we have tons, tons more of the Elaria that's in there. Um, he actually has these birds that were frozen, but we do know from other parasite studies, like your Trichura species, that since they are... Um, since they have an operculum at both ends, the operculum is thought to make them a little bit more weather resistant, um, like for freezing and that type of thing. But anyway, since these birds have been frozen, you'd think that this parasite would be dead. But since it does have a 
a semi-operculum at one end, maybe that's what's keeping them from dying. Um, so, with, uh, with all that in mind, we're going to go ahead and greedy worm, and he's going to report his findings to the breeder of the birds, and hopefully, you know, we can get rid of that, uh, that problem in the source, and we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. We have some, we have some investigating to do. CSI. I can't show this to anybody, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Could use a camp up around. Almost. There you go. Swallow. Dude. Ah. Come on, swallow. Okay. All right. We got it. What's the dose on this? I uh, have CC once a day. Okay. We win. You lose. Ha, ha, ha. 